As the sun sets over Boston, Massachusetts, it's the start of another workday for David Pasternak and the Bruins as they take on the defending Stanley Cup champions, the Vegas Golden Knights. Hi, I'm Dave. It's showtime. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Ready for it? Yeah. Woo! 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 Hello. Lada. Ciao. Let's go, guys. Did you make it? Let's go. Okay. Uday boom. Uday boom. Uday boom. Alright. Yes. I tried to fake him backhand, uh, forehand, and go back to backhand. When I went to my backhand, he he he, he, he bite on my first move, and I thought he's gonna bite on second. <laughs> Let's go. What a shot! Oh, Pasta's beautiful assist on Morgan Geeky's second goal of the first period makes it 3 0 Boston and gives number 88 a chance to showcase a different skill. All right, let's see. Ah, number two. Number two. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Hey, we go, I, we, I go roll over the top because they will think we're going to roll. So you just bump it to me. You tip that? You tip it? Look at that, bro. Morgan Geeky's first career hat trick gives Boston the 4-2 lead. But Vegas comes back to tie it in the third, setting up a dramatic finish in this one. Let's go, Blake. Hey, let's get the next one here. Come on. We get the next one, boys. Come on. Nice play, Shady. Yeah! yeah! I go, I go. Yeah, my son. Yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Mason Lowry's late power play goal proves to be the game winner as the Bruins hold on to take out the champs 5-4. Let's go, big win. Mason, big goal, baby, big goal. Big goal. I love it. The Bruins follow up their win over Vegas with a disappointing loss to the Islanders. The search for consistency now moves to Toronto, where the boys face the red hot Maple Leafs. Cool, boys. Everybody brings energy. All that. On the bench, yeah. on the ice. Yeah. Yeah. Alive. Yeah. Details, boys, hey? Detail. All the details. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the process, too. Yeah. Enjoy playing the right way. Yeah. Doing all those details. That's when it's fun. Push! Yeah. Good job. gets caught there. Wedge. Yeah. yeah. Good talk. That was a good talk. Yeah. Great shift, great change. The black and gold come out firing for a 2-0 lead in the first period. Then Charlie Coyle and his line mates keep up the attack in the second. If I get up, just go into the house with yeah. If I get it, get low. Okay. I'm going down. Yeah! <laughs> what a shot. Great, great job, boys. Huh? Great, 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 great job, boys. What a play, Shaddy. Thanks, man. Pavel Zaka was questionable to play due to injury, but his second goal of the game clinches this one as the Bruins dominate the Leafs 4-1. That's it, hey, way to fire, way to fire. Good job, hey, way to lead, way to lead. Big kudos to our athletic training staff getting Pav <laughs> back. To Whoa! The yeah, training yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now, we're going to start building on this, okay? This is what I was talking about. We've got to get to another level. We've got to another level. We've got to consistently get to another level, okay? Let's get out of here and get home. It's a Boston-Toronto rematch at TD Garden, where the Bruins will also be holding their final Centennial Era night, recognizing teams from 2001 to the present, with a pregame ceremony to honor the Stanley Cup champions of 2011. You got it? I can see Ferris's big head. There we go. You should pull you on the back. I'm blocking somebody. There you go. Oh, you got it. All right, guys, we have a special guest doing the starting lineup tonight. And one of the greatest Bruins coaches and a great person. Oh. Hi. Hi, guys. Thanks, uh, first of all, Monty, for the, uh, the opportunity and the privilege to come in this dress room again and, uh, you know, talk to you guys. It was pretty interesting, you know, obviously with our 2011 Stanley Cup group, talk about what they need they felt they needed to do in order to be champions it didn't matter whether you were a first year player and you were or you were a veteran of five ten years the same thing was expected from each and every one of you you have an opportunity to do something really really great but it's not going to take all of you to accomplish that so love to see that tonight I'm going to be up there watching with the rest of the guys that uh, were able to sit in here and be champions and as we're sitting up there Honestly, we're hoping that see you guys become champions as well. The last thing I want to say for old time's sake, Marshy, don't do something <laughs> stupid tonight, okay? <laughs> All right, starting up front, Brad Marchand. Yeah. All right, Charlie Coyle. Yeah. Jake DeBrusque. Yeah. On defense, we got Matt Brislick yeah. and Charlie McAvoy. Yeah. And in goal, Nicknamed Bulldog, Jeremy Swayman. All right. Good luck, guys. The only remaining active player from that 2011 team is Brad Marchand. So while he preps for tonight's game, the rest of the guys will be arriving in true Boston champion style. But let's see. I almost forgot how big it is. Oh, my gosh. It might smell like stink socks. I don't know. Chain, 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 kills. Can you imagine, Marshy? Actually, Marsh. Where's Marsh? She's Marsh, too. Exactly, Marsh. Marsh. Skate guards. What are you skate guards now? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all the 2011 Stanley Cup champions. Elvis Beach. Hey, they strip you of the seat tonight? Boy, boy, <laughs> boy, you're talking about how shiny your shoes are over there. Yeah, that's right. What's up, What's up boys? Camps, what's up, bro? What's up, baby? How you doing, bro? emotion in the building tonight, and once the puck drops, things heat up immediately between the Bruins and the Leafs. Dude, what are you doing? You got bought him twice? Hey! Hey! You're 
said it. You're awake. You're. You're. I'm coming at you. You're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're good. We're good. So now this guy's thinking you're coming. You don't need to do now, yeah. right? Because now you're in his head. Yeah. Good job, right? But I'm right. coming. Uh, yeah. Time and score. We need the yeah. more than we need anything, right? Yeah. That's when you leave. Yeah. start of tonight's Boston-Toronto game, Brad Marchand is fired up after taking a cross-check to the throat. Now, on the ensuing two-man advantage, the Bruins and their captain are looking to make the Leafs pay. I'm going to score and sell you so hard. Keep your head up tonight, kid. Oh you started it. Cross-check me to the throat. You're getting it now. Let's go! Me and you! Me and you! Let's go! Me and you! Anytime you want! Stay motivated and continue to play with extreme intensity as Brandon Carlo's goal gives the black and gold a commanding 4-1 lead in the second period. End of this period, I'm not coming in, I'm leaving the room to yours, okay? Yeah. It's a great job, we stuck together, yeah. okay? Yeah. But now we can't get emotional, yeah. and we need to end this game, yeah. like being smart, right? Yeah. Talk about the right yeah. game. Boys, money's not coming in, but we know what we got to do this period here, eh? Great job sticking together. If there's any scrums, any of that can stick together just like we did that period. It's been a great 40. Let's make sure everything's in deep. Stay above, guys, and don't give in anything, but try to bury this team, yeah. right? And go after them. Captain leads his team by example, and the Bruins close out the Leafs in the third period for their second victory over Toronto in four days. Great job, boys. Big game. Big game. Good job. Good job. Good job, baby. Good job. Set the tone in the beginning. Yeah, boy. What's up, bro? I know you. You guys. Good job, boys. Big win, big win, big win. Good job, boys. Today, you know, it was it was very important win for us. I think everyone wanted to win. This guy played Bruins hockey. Really, was dialed from the beginning, and it was winning battles. Marshy. Yeah. That's a hell of a win, boys. Brandon, congrats. Um, but that's the way we got to play every night. We've got three great games in a row, but we got to keep that momentum going. So, great win. Let's uh, do it again on Saturday. It's NHL trade deadline day. Inside Warrior Ice Arena, GM Don Sweeney and his staff are working hard to see what might be available to help their club. Well, we're firmly you know, 
on our way to making the playoffs, and, and I'd like to improve our team. I'd like to give them some more of a push. But this gives us a lot of time to sort of get back into this, you know, and we got to be creative. Like, let's be honest, we're, we're tight, tight. It's a long day and a lot of pressure. But ultimately, the Bruins make two deals, acquiring rugged winger Pat Maroon from Minnesota and veteran D-man Andrew Peak from Columbus. So you just for F, third and 27, and Zaboro yeah. for Peak. Yeah. That's done? Done. Nice. That's a good one. He's flying in either tonight or tomorrow. For him. He just wants, he wants to get acclimated and up and running and integrated into the group, so that's a good sign. Another successful. emotional roller coaster with me on the uh, trade deadline, huh? Yeah, some players who did a good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have yeah. some Italian dinner and a wine tonight and move on to one. With the trade deadline passed, the Bruins' final roster is now set. Today, it's Team Picture Day, which means the guys get to see the newest additions, Andrew Peak and Pat Maroon, wear the spoked bee for the first time, as well as have a little fun. Get in that window so you can see me and I can see you, all right? Shot, just move in just a little bit. Yeah, Matt, yep, yep, just a tad, all right? Right down there. Regular season game 68 finds your Boston Bruins in Montreal, Quebec, where they will face their age-old foes for the final time this year. Maybe I should uh, one way to say it. But yeah, I'm all the way here in the corner. With the coolers. Trying to build a barrier between you guys. People don't like me. You will like me. I'm sitting next to Brando. Maddie, why did you put Carlo here right now? All right, boys, let's make sure we're focusing on our process and get into our game right away. Okay, starting, we got both this line. Oh, 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 baby, All right. On back on the back end, we got spoons, and welcome to the Bruins family there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we got the big boys. Wow. Yeah. Say? You stay with the middle guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dog days, baby. Yeah. Boston goes up 1-0 in the first, but the Habs quickly counter to tie the game. It stays that way into the third period, where the pressure ramps up for Jake DeBrusque and the Bruins. Shot, I was ready for it. So but one time it goes through, I'll get a piece and it's in. Not a rule book guy, but 
That's called like a graphite toothbrush. Hey, we need some wood, Chuck. Make that face a little more pretty. For the 24th time this season, the Bruins are headed to overtime, where Jake DeBrusque is on the ice for the first shift. Two, two. Good mic, good mic, eh? 